Vegans will be the death of humankind. She told me that vegans will be the death of humankind. No, 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 no. Vegans will be the savior of humankind. Hit me. This is like saying, oh, someone just got hurt while stepping on Lego. So he just got abused by Lego and therefore all Lego should be made illegal to stop abuse. Yeah, that just fried my brain. So someone stepped on a piece of Lego by accident. This is exactly the same as raping and murdering a cow for dairy. Is this what he's saying? This is on the dairy video, yeah? What he's saying is the analogy of accidentally stepping on Lego and hurting yourself is exactly the same as raping a cow, forcibly impregnating them, stealing their young away, taking their milk year after year after year, shooting them in the head and turning them into a burger is the same as stepping on Lego. Is that what he's saying? We should make Lego illegal because you accidentally stepped on it and hurt yourself, but we shouldn't make literally raping and murdering a cow illegal. One's a fucking accident, and one is deliberate exploitation and murder, which is actual abuse. Are you gonna say that stepping on a bit of Lego is the same thing as abusing a child? Stepping on a bit, bit of Lego is not abuse, it's an accident, you hurt yourself. Kicking a table is the same thing. It's an accident, you hurt yourself. Having an accident stepping on a bit of Lego is not the same thing as abusing an animal. I don't know how old the person was who made that analogy or like how many times they've fallen on their head, but that's a really bad analogy to make, especially with, when it comes to abusing an animal. I think- uh, Actually, you know what? We're gonna give them a an award because that's the first time I've heard Lego though as a justification for raping and killing an animal. I think vegans must go back to school to study the food chain. What was that? I think vegans must go back to school to study the food chain. We need to go back to school. These people think plants feel pain. They need to go to bloody school. There's no research saying plants feel pain. Reacting to stimuli in the environment, yeah. You need a brain to perceive things. We need to go back to school. The food chain, I've heard this food chain argument so much. And I don't know exactly what they mean by the food chain. Here's carrot. Here's me. The chain goes me to carrot. That's a food chain. I think what they're saying is in school, they've seen this picture, right? With humans at the top and all other animals below them. And they're saying that that gives us the right, like might makes right. That gives us a right because they've seen this picture in school to exploit, abuse and kill all animals that are perceived below us in the food chain. Is that what he's saying? He learned that in school. Any animal below us, it's then justified to stab and kill for a steak when we have plant foods. Yeah, that's what he's saying, isn't it? So dogs and elephants and rhinoceroses and lions and you know endangered elephants, we can stab those in the throat because food chain though, or are you speciesist? Are you saying that it's not okay to stab and kill an elephant for the steak, but it's okay to exploit and breed millions of pigs and stab them in the throat for a, for a pork chop? because the food chain taught us that in school. So you're saying the food chain justifies a killing and abusing any animal perceived below us, which is all of them. Especially like, like look, here's a food chain for you right here. No one got stabbed in the throat. I know which food chain I'm participating in. The food chain is just like an appeal to nature fallacy. You're saying because there's a, uh, a chain of like sharks eating smaller fish and lions eating antelopes in nature and you know bigger bugs eating smaller bugs and spiders eating flies. That chain happens in nature. That justifies our behavior in a civilized society when we have clear vegan alternatives. All nonsense, it's either Mike makes right, okay? A silly little picture you've seen in school with us at the top of the food chain. So it justifies us killing and exploiting any animal below us. Using the food chain argument when you live in a house and buy your food from the supermarket and all you have to do is move your hand to the left to get the soy milk or walk one step over to the chickpeas away from the slashed up murdered animals, okay, is nonsense. There's nothing about a human being's lifestyle that is anything close to a natural om omnivore or anything close to the, 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 the chain of eating that predators and prey have in the environment, okay? It's nothing close. You go into a supermarket, make a vegan choice. You're not gonna stab animals in the throat yourself. You're gonna run them down yourself and chomp into their throat like an omnivore who, who has no choice but to participate in that food chain. You have a choice. It's called pick up a carrot or pick up a vegan burger. Vegan soy boys, their diets turning them into women with their GMO-based GMO soy. 
vegan soy boys, our diets are turning us into women with the GM, GMO based soy. I would say where's the evidence that soy feminizes you, okay? And um, you know, I know some women that would kick his ass. So being a woman's not a bad thing if he thinks being a woman is bad. My mum would kick his ass up and down the street, okay? So yeah, my mum would probably fem feminize him if he got a, her hands on him. Um, but soy feminizing people, where's the evidence for this? It's like soy contains phytoestrogen. It's a plant estrogen. It's not an actual mammalian estrogen occurring in pregnant cows that he probably sucks the boob of still. I would say, where's the, where's the evidence that soy does anything to our hormones? I haven't seen it. Soy's a bean, very healthy. Um, if anything, cow's dairy does that. Most soy that human beings will consume will be non-GMO soy. So vegans will be consuming mostly non-GMO soy. The vast, vast majority of GMO soy that's produced is fed to the animals he eats. Got him. Want to be vegan? Cool. Just don't push your beliefs on me. Oh my God, I've heard this a million times. Want to be vegan? Cool, just don't push your beliefs on me. What about the knife being pushed into the throat of the pig that you eat? Huh? What about those? Pushing your beliefs onto the pig. Pushing your beliefs onto the chickens. Pushing your beliefs onto the dairy cow that has a child pushed away from her and pushed into a slaughterhouse because they're born a boy. And what about the fist that's pushed into her, her anus to artificially inseminate her and the bolt gun that's pushed against her skull as the bolt is pushed through her brain? What about pushing all those things into animals? You're the one who's pushing your beliefs onto innocent animals, okay? All we're doing is asking you to stop. Someone's out there abusing a child, okay? Molesting them. I walk up to them and say, get your hands off that child. Is a child molester gonna go, hey, stop pushing your beliefs onto me? Now, am I saying you're a child molester? No, but there's a definite ethical implication of consuming animal products that you're fundamentally paying for consuming, uh, you're, you're supporting by virtue of supply and demand. So yeah, my beliefs embody the principle of not abusing animals. And yeah, I'm asking you to stop participating in the industries that do those things. Stop pushing your beliefs on innocent animals. We should thank vegans for leaving more meat for us. We should thank vegans for leaving more meat for, for, for them. Yeah. Wow. Wow, I've never actually heard that. It's kind of sad, really, like, when you think about it, like, all he cares about is how much flesh he's going to consume. You know, it's kind of a very greedy outlook. That meat was torn off of the body of an animal who tried to escape a knockbox, terrified walking down a slaughterhouse kill floor, blood everywhere. Like, you're eating the suffered body of an animal. Damn straight we're leaving that. We're not touching it. We're boycotting it. You should boycott it too, if you care about animals at all. Uh, why are vegans always showing the tone of condescension in an argument? Why are vegans always showing the tone of condescension? So like, why are vegans being condescending? I think it's just referring to me. You know, me being a vegan activist, I've heard a lot of these things over and over and over and over and over again. And I've seen animals be exploited and killed over and over and over and over again. So forgive me if I come across a little bit you know, blunt. Forgive me if my voice sounds a little bit condescending, but if you use plants feel pain to justify an animal being having their throat slit, I might be a little bit short with you. So that's just the way it is. I see animals get murdered, raped and killed every single day and people keep coming up with just nonsense ways to justify such atrocities. So that's probably why. So there you go. That's another hater comments video, people criticizing, people using silly justifications to commit a mass atrocity against innocent animals. Heard them all before. There's some, the Lego one was really unique. I haven't heard that one before. So yeah, here's an award for you, Lego boy. Um, if you wanna use stepping on Lego as an excuse to abuse animals and abuse children, then mate, I don't know what world you're living in, but I don't wanna live in that world. So thanks again, everyone. Leave your comments down below. Leave your responses to some of these um, justifications down below if you've got something I didn't add or you wanna add. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for all your support, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Mm. Sorry, carrot.